Howard is starting to acquire following No Shame for his No Shame sketches. I can't let that bland, boring, dull, dry, <coughs> tiny jerk siphon the audience from my sketches. So I brought you with me. To eliminate him? No! no, no. <laughs> he tries to do that to himself a few times, too many times anyway. Then why did you bring me with you? You hide close behind hearing range. Howard is arriving shortly, and once he does, I'll inquire about his new ideas for his latest no shame sketches, and you note them on your steno pad when he starts revealing his no shame sketch ideas to me. Howard is almost here. Go. Hi. Hurry. <laughs> hey, Howard. Uh, what's up new with you? Uh, you got any new uh, no shame sketch ideas? Huh? Now, uh, what did I do that I need to dump into the reject pile this time? <laughs> Just interested in uh, how you're progressing with new material for another one of your no-shame sketches. Uh, what? So am I providing clippings of silly newspaper stories for you to create your own no-shame sketches, sketches out of? Is good enough for you? Uh, I wouldn't ask about your latest no-shame sketches if I didn't think you'd conceive of some great ones, as you did previously. Uh, I get silly news stories for creating my new shame sketches from the tabloids any time. Well, I've got recent ones for a new no shame sketch, uh, it turns out. Um. Well, let me in on the sneaky, I mean sneak preview uh, of them to prevent me suffering until you reveal them in your weekly no shame rehearsal workshops, all right? Uh, all right, okay. uh, one character enters on stage, returning from attending a funeral <coughs> he knew, but a living alternate of the deceased arrives from parallel time next to the returned mourner. Um, can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, I said that. I, hey, wait just a second. Uh, are there voices I shouldn't hear? Uh, what also happens? <laughs> well, um... Uh, another living uh, alternate of the deceased arrives from perpendicular time next to the return mourner. What takes place after that? <laughs> well, both both living parallel and perpendicular time alternates of the deceased try convincing the return mourner to ignore the other living alternate of the deceased, <laughs> since they claim themselves as the legitimate living alternate of the deceased. Now, parallel time, one paces horizontally on the ground floor. Perpendicular time one paces self levitating vertically in midair. How does that get explained? Well, living alternates from perpendicular time are at cross purposes with living alternates from parallel time. That makes realistic sense. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> well, I, I believe what I meant. Hey, wait, what was that? Now, I wasn't hearing voices. I know that because it didn't What else sound. happened? What else happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the third living alternate of deceased arrives from diagonal time. Diagonal time. Uh, where did that come from now? Uh, where did that come from? Nothing came from any place. <laughs> so you, you, you were saying? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yes. Third living alternate of the deceased from diagonal time. <coughs> Conflict suggesting that the living alternates of the deceased from perpendicular and parallel time participate in a high stakes game of Scrabble. <laughs> I believe that it's a logical suggestion. <laughs> yes, I believe it! Uh, you're replying to the same voice I thought I overheard. You might send that to the underground prisons. But that's where I'm from! <laughs> it's probably your unconscious from which it originated. Well, my internal thoughts aren't usually so externally noisy. Perhaps it's your inner vibe. Well, my inner vibes aren't usually so sonically resonant. So what takes place after that? <laughs> well, I've told you plenty, if not too much as it is. And I've run out of space to write. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, man. Well, don't you usually do a lot of job impersonating visual twists? We do great jobs imitating kidnappers. Get out of here! Oh, now, wait a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if we're duplicating kidnappers, they're fakers. I prefer being kidnapped by real kidnappers. Wait, what was that I just said? Uh, we'll do what we think is too much or too plenty for to tell you. Well, I got mad ideas, so you're out of luck also. <laughs> <laughs>